Today it's the third of Advent and that means I have another thing to show you. But before I do, I have to tell you that yesterday was Lucia and I celebrated it even though I'm in the United States. And I celebrated it in a Swedish kind of way, like with glög. Um, it will be Moldovan wine in English. Um, gingerbread cookies and saffron buns because I made saffron buns yesterday and um, yeah <laughs> you must you can't forget you must and even if it, that means I have to travel two and a half hours to get some I will do it trust me I will because <laughs> I just can't be without you must for the Christmas so yeah but let's stop talking about Lucia um, except for do you celebrate Lucia and if so how do you celebrate it? I would really like to know. Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you how to make Christmas toffee today and I've never done it so it will be a, a learning experience for both you and me so yeah, shall we start? start with three deciliters of um, caster sugar or granulated sugar depending on whether you come from United Kingdom or America um, and when I say deciliter um, if you have one of these where well, you can see in the milliliters like 100 milliliters equals one deciliter so it's really good if you have one of these and you see that it's um, two and a half deciliters. It, well, one cup is almost two and a half deciliters. Almost. So, three deciliters. This is two. And I just need one more. Three deciliters. As you notice, it almost has the same ingredients as Knick, and it's always almost made the same way as Knick, but it's not Knick. Two deciliters of whipping cream. And this is two. One deciliter of the syrup, golden syrup. You can find it in most um, like international aisles in the stores. Not this kind, obviously, but you can find golden syrup. Just pour it in. One teaspoon of vanilla sugar or one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Almost a whole stick of butter, like pretty much that much. Hold on to the small piece because the bigger one is gonna go in here. So this is what it looks like before we started. Put the heat on medium low. Oh. About three medium. And start stirring. You're gonna need a wooden spoon for this one too. And when you're che checking for temperature, because it's gonna be um, 125 uh, degrees in Celsius or 257 degrees in Fahrenheit. And when you're gonna check, you can do what you did with the Kinect. Use the um, marble test that we taught you um, last advent or you can use a thermometer 
I'm gonna use the thermometer this time. And just continue stirring. So this is what it looks like when the butter is melted. We still have a long way to go though. I start to boil now and it's like maybe five minutes in. I still, th I think it might need to be thickened up, but and I don't think it's 125 um, degrees in Celsius yet. So wish me luck. So it's 125 degrees in Celsius. So you wanna turn it off, and if you wanna put in something else like uh, cocoa or peppermint sticks whatever this is the time to do it but we're just gonna put it in our pan so that the toffee won't be sticking in to the pan when you once you've poured it in use this to spray on top of its surface just a little bit like that then use paper to just spread it all around pour it Careful not to burn yourself. If you have a smaller pan, use it. And just let it cool it off a bit before you start cutting it and putting it in wrapping paper or something similar. Okay, it's been cooling down and it's now a little bit more firm than before, so I'm gonna cut it. Cool down, you just cut it up and put it in wrapping paper or something so that so it'll look more pretty. And then just twitch, well, twitch, twist the edges. Oops. Well, this doesn't look very great, but something like that. And just put it in the Santa jar. Ta -da! So what do you think of it? Quite simple, huh? Um, so this is what the Santa jar looks like now. I think it looks a bit more jolly than it used to with all of the candy inside. And you can, it's more festive to um, give your family and friends <laughs> Toffee from a Santa jar, don't you think? So, this is what I have to show you for this advent. And next week, Emma is gonna show you how to make some stuff. I don't know exactly what it is, so it will be a surprise for both, for all of us. So, um, yeah, this was it for me. So, I hope you liked it.